To enable the quote system, you need to go to Store Management, Settings, click on Website, click on Price Quotes, and you need to set up all the settings here. Activate All Products will override any rules you have for specific products and make all products become a quote. You can put the quote text. This quote text will get displayed above the bullet points under the web price if one is shown and will encourage buyers to fill out the quote. So in the quote text you need to put something that will encourage your prospects to actually fill out the quote and not abandon the product page. There is many texts that you can test with. There is no right or wrong sentence that you can enter here. The ones that works for me is we write we are lowering our prices get a quote for your part below and there's a link below it. The thank you message can be defaulted if you leave the thank you message blank, it's going to say that we will get back to you within 24 hours. If you want to change that message to something else, you can enter the text here. For the web price style, you can either strike out the web price or not show the web price at all on the product page. These options is a part of the quote system itself. So by default, your prospect will have to fill out their first name, last name, email address, and phone number. All the other options are customizable. So the next option, you can ask them for shipping address if you need to quote them on shipping when you sell them the part. You can put the personal message where they can type in their own message. Then you can show them the lowest price found so they can enter the price and the website they found the lowest price on. Best offer if you want to allow them to enter the price they would be willing to pay you. And purchase time is in how long they are planning to buy the product. You can play around with all of these to see which one fits your business and your product pages. And obviously the more quotes requests you get, the better it is. If you want to specify which product you want to set up the quote system for or the price match, you must make sure that you disable the activate all products. When you go to product setup, store management product setup, you're going to reach this page. You can select any product you like. You can either do search by brand, you can pick it out by category, or you can do an advanced search and search for all products that are on your website. So this would be a good idea if you want to override all of the products to offer price matching and the add to cart shopping cart feature. So you would go to all categories, search, 2754 products were found, you would select all, press select, and you would bulk edit them. So you can either edit one at a time by going to quick edit, then you would go to rules, and on the checkout you have an option shopping cart, shopping cart with price match or price quote. So you have the shopping cart, it's only going to have the add to cart button. If you have the shopping cart with price match, it's going to have the add to cart button and right underneath of it there will be a price match button which will allow them to fill out a quote. If you say price quote, you're not going to have the add to cart button. Your prospect will not be able to purchase the product by themselves on the website and they will have to fill out a quote before they continue to do anything. If you want to change all of these products to all have a price match or all be a quote, you can highlight them all, press quick edit, and using the bulk quick edit, you can only modify the static rules, shipping properties, and so on. So on the rules, you would say that I want this shopping cart with price match, save, and now all of these will have shopping cart and the price match without you going through each one one by one. To watch the video on why you should use the quote or the price match, check out video 20.0 for a full hour presentation.